Hello, this is Alexa and welcome to Homeworld Mobile. So this is going to be a bit of a different video to my usual Hyperspace ones. Um, I've been playing through the early game of Homeworld Mobile and I've picked up a few things I think might help out a new player who's just getting into it. So here are 10 early game tips and tricks for Homeworld Mobile. Number one, your flagship can't be destroyed. It can only be disabled. Um, this means you can play kind of aggressively with it. Um, if it ends up getting destroyed, uh, you can just simply press the button that will pop up to retreat to the nearest outpost, then you can try that mission again. Something to consider though is that whilst your flagship can't be destroyed, your escorts and your strike craft can. Which leads us nicely onto number two. All of your ships will heal to full when you make a hyperspace jump, which includes retreating when your flagship is disabled. And you can jump without cooldown, so you can always immediately reattempt a mission again or return to the mining spot that you were at. I don't know if this tactic actually has an official name or something that's been decided by the community, but I'm going to call it yo-yoing for now. Number three, to mitigate risk of losing your Docking ships, carrier. you can dock your Docking strike craft to instantly heal them to full health. They're instantly redeployable to get straight back into the fight as well. Whilst you can use resource collectors to heal the bigger ships, I found that using the slots that your resource collector would take up to get more firepower from just having more strike craft out will be more efficient because you'll destroy your enemies more quickly. Number four, you don't need to wait for your ships to dock when you want to make a hyperspace jump. The skip button that appears immediately quick docks everything and gets you out of there instantly and then you start making your way across the map to wherever you're going. This can be hyperspace really helpful complete. because uh, if, if you're in the middle of a fight and you're at risk of losing quite a powerful ship, you can just run away immediately and your ship will be fine. Number five, bombers have much higher damage versus armor than interceptors, but interceptors have much higher damage versus the hull. So for any, any ship with armor, like a frigate or a command ship, it might be a good idea to bring some bombers to work on the armor whilst you're dealing with enemy strike craft, uh, like um, using your interceptors and corvettes and other ships in the other slots. Number six, you can change your strike craft at will. You just need to have them docked in your flagship. So for example, I might go into a, the start of a fight with a squad of bombers docked in my flagship. Then if I see a ship with armor, I'll bring them out and get to work reducing it. Otherwise, I'll just swap them out there and then for more interceptors, bring the interceptors out and then start fighting the enemies. Number seven, this is a bit of a bigger one, but this is about signal missions. So you, before you can access strikes and the other sort of big story missions, you'll be able to access kind of three generic missions early on. So these three different missions are all found by scanning in different systems and they are Kangasian Pirate Encounters, Relic Artifact Encounters and Progenitor Encounters. So straight off the bat, I would avoid progenitors early on because they're much stronger than everything else and even low level progenitor signal missions can quickly destroy your, your um, well, quickly disable your uh, flagship. So it's not really worth giving those a go early on. However, relic missions and Kangasian missions are quite important. So for relic missions, um, they're really great if you need to quickly spam out some missions as part of a campaign quest. Um, which does frequently come up in the main campaign. Because all you need to do is get a resource way. collector to go and grab an artifact on the map. There's always going to be a couple of enemy ships right on top of the artifact, but as long as you're sending your fleet to the same location, the resourcer is going to have plenty of time to get, the, get the artifact back to the carrier before it can be destroyed, if it even gets targeted. Um, this happens much more quickly than the time it takes to defeat all the enemies and you can just instantly jump away once Got you've it. actually recovered the artifact. You don't need to defeat the enemy, so it, it makes for a very quick mission. On the other side, Kangasian missions complete. are great if you need to defeat a number of ships for a campaign quest. Um, usually it's something like 25 uh, ships in a row. Um, they'll, they'll generally send two waves of ships at you. Additionally, um, whilst running this mission counts as a signal Docking mission completion, it's a great way of Docking farming for materials and blueprints because if you bring a resource collector, you can pick up the two abandoned freight on each mission, which are effectively just extra free loot on top of the salvage you'll get from destroying the enemy ship. For the next couple of tips, we're going to talk a bit about mining. Um, so you'll need to do it a fair bit for the campaign missions and it takes a while, so Group doing one, it efficiently is well worth your time. One, so number eight, nine. when you're mining, you will be periodically attacked. The attacker's range in class escort. and difficulty depending on the level of the area. But it's always more efficient to use all of your strike craft slots for more resource collectors if your goal is to mine as quickly as possible. 
Each collector out mining increases the amount of ore you'll collect significantly more than the amount that you would get from saving time by being able to fight off maybe one more wave instead of jumping away and back to the same spot, yo-yoing, like I said before. If you're looking for a more AFK that's away from keyboard experience, where you can just kind of set it and let it go for a bit, finding other players mining at the same spot will allow you to survive significantly more waves of enemies without needing to yo-yo as two tier zero flagships and two tier one assault frigates are more than a match for several waves of enemies in a row. Number nine, you won't need to do a huge amount early on, but when you're refining ore, you can instantly complete the refining if you use the minimum Go amount, which is just 100 without using any premium currency. Mission this can be very helpful for some by. campaign missions, but generally you, Thank you. it's probably Thank worth you. just getting some refining going on in the background, which takes real time. Um, so you can put the phone down and go and do something else whilst it completes Refinery if you need to. Complete. And the same is true for fabrication. Number 10. When you have multiple places to go at the same time for a campaign good. mission, don't yep. do them one at a time. Don't go to the place, see what it's telling you to do and just focus on We've that. It's well it. worth checking all of the different places you've been asked to go before starting to act out any of them. This is because they often have overlapping tasks, for example, completing a number of missions Delta and destroying a set number back. of ships. And these can usually always be completed in any sector, not just the one that you have assigned it. So check what the initial tasks are for all of the missions you have assigned before you start completing them, and then you'll get through them all a lot quicker. Yeah, so those are a few things I've picked up in my first few days of playing. Let me know in the comments if you're playing Home World Mobile and if there's anything you might have put on this list. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, Kind of testing the water a little bit for if people are interested in homeworld mobile content um i'm quite enjoying it thus far and i've got a lot left to unlock so yeah if you're interested in more homeworld content Group both one, homeworld assigned. mobile and the main game series Group three, uh feel free to subscribe because i've been assigned. working on a full playthrough of the entire series from homeworld deserts of Carrick all the way through to homeworld 3 when it releases next year so yeah thanks for watching bye